immigration, a total of 3,000 illegal immigrants could be housed on the Bibby Stockholm. That's that barge that we've been all been talking about and in former military sites by as early as this autumn. Well, the Home Office has said accommodation will be provided in ex-military bases such as Weathersfield in Essex and Scampton in Lincolnshire. Uh, well, let's talk to the former Chief Immigration Officer for Border Force at Calais, Kevin Saunders. Morning to you, Kevin. Good to see you, as always. Uh, the government seems determined to move ahead with these plans, despite a lot of local opposition. I mean, it might not be nice for people in these areas, but is this all a necessary move? Good morning. Yes, unfortunately, it's very necessary. We need to get people out of hotels. Hotels are very expensive and really they're not they're not designed to have people in them for long term um, and that sort of thing. So getting people onto the barge in uh, the southwest will be a, a really good move. Um, I believe they, they had a sort of press day yesterday where you people from the press got a chance to go and have a look. And um, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not five star, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't look too bad at all. So, um, yeah, good move by the government. Yeah, our very own Mark White uh, was was talking about this yesterday, as you say, at that press day. It does look like he, he described it as student halls, so basic, mm. but very, very functional uh, and fine, as you say, Kevin. Uh, but this is the issue, isn't it? Because we do need to reduce um, the use of hotels, costing the taxpayer £6 million a day. But nobody wants this sort of accommodation in their local area, do they? We've seen the protests in Portland um, at, at the Bibby Stockholm barge. Do, where do you think this is going? Do you think we will see the use of barges up and down the country or do you think it will be military bases that we'll see legal immigrants being housed in? I think it will be a combination of both. Um, I know that the uh, government were, were looking at cruise liners um, as well, but they're... they're came a problem with with birthing them in, in ports. Um, I'm sure the government, I'm sure the Home Office will get round that somehow. Um, they've got some very good people there who know what they're doing. So, um, yeah, I, I think it will be a combination of, of, of bases and, and um, cruise liners. The, the problem with all of this, though, Kevin, is it seems to be sticking plaster solutions to all of this. It doesn't do anything to speed up the process of, of, of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, processing mm. these people when they come to the country. It's not doing anything to stop people getting into this country, uh, you know, on the French side. It's not, it's not processing legal migration routes on the French side. It, it, it all just seems to be sort of temporary measures and not getting to the fundamentals of the issue. Yes, you're, you're quite right. It is. It is. Um, it, it, we're shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted to some extent. Um, we need an agreement with the French to actually stop the people on the water, on the channel. But the French won't agree to that. But we've been um, trying to get an agreement with the French to do something since 1066, and you, you can never, you never win with the French. 